Mars, interior and surface features. Its interior is also made up of core, mantle, and a crust. However, Mars's crust is the thickest in the solar system, much, much thicker than the crust of Earth and Venus. We know this because it has the largest mountains. In other words, its crust can support the largest mountains in the solar system. That's why it's very thick and heavy. The northern half of Mars contains giant volcanoes and lava flows which cover older cratered regions. The southern half contains many yet seen craters. In other words, the northern half seems to be missing craters. The lava flows have covered them up and it looks smoother, the northern half. The southern half looks a lot more cratered, okay? A lot more battered. So the southern half contains many yet seen craters and few volcanic regions. So there seems to be a difference between northern and southern half. The northern half appears to be a billion years old because of more recent volcanic action. You see this lava that has flowed and covered up the craters? So the northern half much younger. And the southern half is two to three billion years old. The reason for this uh, asymmetry, asymmetry means, that means it's, they're not symmetrical to each other, is still unknown. The largest mountain in the solar system is named Olympus Mons. It's even larger than the Venus's mountain, Maxwell Montes, okay? And it's 25 kilometers high. Olympus Mons is found on the Tharsis region. There is also a big rift valley called Valley, valley um, Marineris. Uh, <coughs> this is very, very large. It's going to make Grand Canyon look like nothing. That's about 4,000 kilometers long and 6 kilometers deep and 200 kilometers wide. Okay? It's, Grand Canyon will be very small compared to that. Uh, it is like our Grand Canyon, Arizona. One of the most interesting findings was the existence of polar ice caps made of carbon dioxide and some water in the northern and southern poles. So that's going to be one of the missions that we send in the future is to analyze the nature of those polar ice caps. What's in there, what caused it, and what, what do we do about that? Is there water in it and everything, you know? Uh, so this one is showing you the Tharsis region. You see here, this one, Tharsis rise, that's Olympus Mons. Now, it looks very small, but it's the much, much bigger than uh, our Mount Everest, okay? It's huge. Uh, this is where Spirit and Opportunity are. You see Opportunity spacecraft landed there. There is Spirit, right there. Uh, there's Valles Marineris right here, you see here. It's, again, it looks small, but when you go in, you see that it's huge. Uh, here's another view of that. The volcanoes on the Tharsis region, Olympus Mons, impact craters, Valles Marineris. You see how big that is? Amazing. Huge, very, very wide and very deep. And then a uh, different view of Valles Marineris. Atmosphere <coughs> of Mars. The atmosphere of Mars is nowhere as thick as Venus's. In fact, it is very much thinner than Earth's even. So basically, oh, there's almost no atmosphere. Like Venus, it is mostly made of carbon dioxide, about 95%, and 2% argon. Mars never developed a substantial ozone layer to trap its heat and atmosphere. And since the escape velocity of Mars is low, most of its gas escaped. See, remember, Mars is much lighter than Venus. So its escape velocity is low. It's easy to escape from it. So whatever atmosphere it had, it basically escaped. That's why the atmosphere of Mars is thin, you see. But in terms of makeup, it's very similar to Venus's atmosphere, which is carbon dioxide. The moons of Mars. The moons of Mars are Phobos and Deimos, which mean fear and panic in Greek mythology. They are very small and not even circular in shape. Some people believe that they were asteroids which got captured by Mars. This is pretty much the, 
the going theory now, that they're not the original moons of Mars. Phobos is the closer moon to Mars out of the two. Phobos has a big impact crater on it, 10 kilometers in diameter. So it looks like a potato shape and boof, there's a, a whole big hole. Phobos seems to have a dust layer on it, at least a meter um, deep, which is why Phobos cools and warms really quickly as it passes from sunlight to darkness. Oh, this one, the other one that was, was there, this is kind of a, I like this picture. Uh, the dust storms on Mars. It's a dust storm developing. So we have some similar things like that on Earth. This one is Phobos right here. You see the impact crater? And then this is Deimos. Deimos is a lot more smooth looking, a lot filled with a lot of dust, okay? Smooth, and then it's farther away, okay? It's farther away from uh, Mars, and it's smaller than even Phobos, okay? So Phobos is the closer one to Mars, and Deimos is the smaller one. It's the one of the smallest moons in the solar system. Deimos is the outer moon and is the smallest moon in the solar system. Deimos does not have the groove-like appearance on its surface because of a thicker layer of dust than Phobos. So its the layer of dust is even thicker than Phobos. It is thought that Mars has pulled the dust off of Phobos, and that is why it has a shallower layer of dust. Or see why? Because that's why Phobos is closer to Mars. Mars pulls that dust layer off. Phobos is seen to be slowing down and converging towards Mars. That's kind of a weird thing. It's losing its energy, kind of. And it's kind of spiraling inwards towards Mars and eventually will crash. Probably in a million years, it will collide into Mars. So that's the closer of the two, Phobos.